Hello YouTube friends, Richard Lewis here with another video and I'm going to be tackling one of my favourite topics, one that always comes up, one I always make videos about, one that rarely gets seen for uh, reasons I'm sure we can all guess at and it's going to be another video about Riot Games. Now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking Richard come on they haven't even done anything this time, surely Surely they can't have the World Championships are on, they've had some problems there, but you know, that that's not a big deal, you're not going to get into that, are you? Well, no, I'm not actually, and uh, I'm going to bring to your attention something that seems to have flown under the radar of the mainstream gaming press, almost as if Riot was somehow in cahoots with that same said mainstream gaming press, be it based on ideological or financial reasons. You see, there was a new champion that was coming out, the champion called Kindred, uh, and um, it was announced that it would be subsequently delayed and whatnot, but we'll get into that in a second. And everyone was like, oh, wow, you know, new champion, yay, let's wait for that to be horrifically overpowered in solo queue, uh, encouraging people to buy it. Um, and this happens every time, and it's certainly not a business model, it's just an accident every time. But uh, I'm going to start bringing up some... Uh, um, images in a second, but you may recall that I did a video about Teemo, and this is in my channel, you can go find it. Uh, now, the Teemo video basically showed, uh, which, which is now inarguable, that Riot Games uh, had plagiarized the concept for Teemo um, from the Dota All-Star forums way, way back in the day, and they did this for a few champions, actually. Uh, but Teemo is perhaps the most iconic and standout one. And then they lied about it in a recent article, saying, oh, it just came to, to me, and it was a different time, and it was like the Wild West back then. Yeah, it was like the Wild West, because you were acting like fucking bandits, and were stealing people's ideas and intellectual property for your own financial gain. Now, I urge you to go and watch that video, but uh, the reason I'm talking about it is that in relation to Kindred, it seems to have come up again. Uh, now, and again, I'm, I'm amazed this didn't sort of get more attention put upon it. Now, you'll see on your screen, this is the reaction from an artist called uh, Chiara Batista. And um, she's been designing a, uh, a form of um, artwork, a kind of, uh, almost like a series of comic strips and blah, 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 since 2011. Uh, which is basically Moon Lady and Night Sky Wolf. And this is about uh, a woman and a wolf that have this sort of symbiotic, synergistic relationship. Uh, and she does you know, pictures about it that show them in various states of, of comfort and commenting on things. And she's hugely popular uh, on the internet. Now, uh, when you look at this concept art, that Riot Games put out there, you're going to see some striking similarities. Now, obviously, let's just say right at the at the top of the the video, um, you know, things about the themes of sort of yin and yang and life and death and heaven and hell and light and dark. These certainly aren't new concepts. They are uh, permeated through philosophy and literature and now film and TV. The idea that uh, you know, Mrs. Batista, Miss Batista, uh, has come up with something that is, um, is sort of groundbreakingly revelatory would be stretching it to, to, to breaking point. But when you start looking at these images on screen, you can see for yourself there are some glaring similarities in terms of design, in terms of artwork. Now, when I was looking at uh, these, when these were brought to my attention, uh, uh, the the assumption was that there must have been some sort of acknowledgement, at least, of these similarities in the design, uh, and apparently not. Uh, when when presented with this, uh, Miss Batista's reaction was, of course, one of being uh, quite upset that she didn't feel uh, that. Th these were original ideas, and she, and she kind of felt that um, these th this new League of Legends champion 
was basically being kind of borrowed at best, sort of wholesale from her design uh, concepts. And it doesn't just stop at, okay, well, it's, it's a wolf and a woman. Uh, which again, you know, the idea of um, some sort of bestial form and uh, a, a female, again, scattered throughout literature, uh, all different uh, cultures uh, at all different periods of history. But if you just look at how, you know, for example, uh, the, the the weapon that Lamb, uh, the, the one half of the kindred uh, character, wields, it's a uh, an arrow and it's archery. That is uh, in Shara's Moon Lady. She also is an archer. Uh, and of course the wolf is, is very much a wolf. That does wolf things. So you can see that it's kind of odd that there are these similarities of this sort of hugely uh, popular artist's work. And that isn't to say that this is a, a direct rip-off in the sense that they were like, look, this is popular if we appropriate it and pretend we didn't, we can get all of um, Miss Batista's fans involved and, and they're going to like League of Legends now. I don't think it was necessarily that cynical, but I think it's undeniable, given the sheer wholesale similarities, that the person who, or the people who designed this particular champion must have been exposed uh, to, to this artwork prior, and it must have informed their design choices um, now again if you're thinking that they're going to give any credit or acknowledgement of the work uh, apparently not uh, and uh, you'll be able to see now that on her Facebook page where she posted uh, a, a picture that said have you seen the news uh, sorry did you read the news that is bullshit um, she actually said that these characters uh, are very, very similar to my characters. And she was asked on numerous occasions, with, is this new League of Legends character anything to do with you? And she was like, well, no, I, I haven't been consulted. There have been no talks whatsoever. Uh, and as you can see, uh, she's obviously a little bit uh, aggrieved by that. So let's analyze why she is so disgruntled. So first off, there have been numerous people posting on her Facebook page saying uh, that her work is fan art of Kindred, of the uh, League of Legends uh, champion, and, and asking if she has any link to it whatsoever. Uh, on top of that, um, she also uh, doesn't sell her artwork, um, and, and she's got a Facebook page where she has 450,000 plus followers, so she could make a lot of money from it. Uh, but she simply hasn't decided to, to, to leverage that. It's a, a labor of love. It's something that she does. Um, and equally, when it comes to people uh, doing fan art of her own characters, she's very generous in how she promotes and responds to that. She's never litigious. She's never aggressive. She posts a lot of fan art and people who get tattoos and things like that on her very own Facebook page. So here she is in a situation where we can see all of these similarities, and yet she's going to receive no credit whatsoever. Um, and, you know, <laughs> the, the, I, I like to just look at things as they are, and you can see the similarities are so striking. Uh, you would have to say that there was, a, at the very least, an influence. Now, obviously, there's no way at this point that Riot can sort of uh, you know, talk openly about there being any parallels because if if they do it's going to make them look very stupid potentially open them, open them up to legal recourse um, and that's even if they were to say hey we did, we did uh, sort of get some inspiration from your artwork so they're going to have to remain very tight lipped on the issue um, and that only kind of serves to further make the fans uh, of uh, Chiara's work, uh, sort of to, to, to be more angry, and of course her to be more angry about it. So I just wanted to sort of put this out there to raise a bit of awareness, because I think it's a topic that probably is worth talking about. I have no idea if there's going to be any follow-up on this, and I'm certainly not going to imply that the reason that the champion was delayed is anything to do with this whatsoever. Um, 
it, it, who knows uh, what's gone on behind the scenes, but I would certainly like to think there has been uh, a dialogue at the very least between the artist and Riot Games about this. Anyway, so just a short one, an actual, and an actual short one at that, so you should all congratulate me and pat me on the back. I just think it was worth noting that once again we get into this murky territory of potential plagiarism when it comes to League of Legends champion design. Uh, I'll be back with another, probably longer, uh, video very shortly, and until then, take care, see you soon.